Hi guys, it is January 14, 2015. You know, so many of us predicted that 2015 would be one hell of a year. We're only two weeks in. We're only two weeks in. So I think that we're going to start spiraling into freefall. Russia just pulled itself out of the petrodollar. I'm not going to read this article. I will link to it below. But um, I do want to recommend another channel, Freedom Fighter 2127. Um, do subscribe. He, he goes through various uh, news accounts of the day. And this is where I learned that Russia just pulled itself out of the petrodollar. So I will link below to his video. I do hope that you subscribe. Um, he really does a, a very nice job. Um, but this is very important. I mean, we knew that the that the dollar was going to lose its uh, <laughs> status as the world's currency. So it's happening. It's happening at, at breakneck speed, actually. But I also just want to um, say that, that, you know, there are so many still hailing the Obama administration for helping the U.S. economy get back on track and he still is claiming that the economy is doing well. Oh my God. And and I'm sure that a lot of Americans think, oh my God, the economy really is doing well. Look, look at the gas prices. They're they're so low. A dollar here it's a dollar seventy-five here in South Carolina. Doing well? It's hurting. It's hurting the economy. And there are so many channels on YouTube that go into the reasons why. Um, Greg Manorino, um, I can't even think of the names right now, but I'll link to a couple of the channels below. Um, the economy is doing well. That one million expected to lose food stamps as the economy improves. It improves. That's right. So they're going to be kicking people off of food stamps. The economy is not is is not recovering. In fact, it is very close to collapse. I, I know that you all know that, but it, it it's remarkable the lies coming out of our government. Um, also, here we go. The United States takes aim, aim at North Korea's remaining financial links. They're, they're trying to gut North Korea from any kind of international financial system. I mean, they're, they're trying to ruin North Korea. I will link below to this article. Um, Freedom Fighter touches on all of these articles that I, or goes into more detail actually, I just touched on them. We're in bad shape. Things are going to be happening very quickly. Um, heading for World War III, more terrorist attacks. Actually, let me, he didn't go into this, but let me. So ISIS is now renewing their calls for attacks in the West, in New York City, um, some Jewish business in Washington, D.C. has been receiving uh, threats via Twitter and phone almost every single day. Some, somebody claiming that they're going to kill the employees at the business and blow it up, and, but the FBI doesn't think it's a credible, a credible threat, so, so fine. It just, that continues. But ISIS is now calling for attacks in the West, in New York City. New York City police is, is now um, instructed to be vigilant in the days ahead. All officers must exercise tactical considerations in light of the terrorist attack on journalists and police officers in Paris. Officer safety alert sent through the New York Police Department late Saturday night. Please remain alert and consider tactics at all times while on parole. Patrol. Parole. <laughs> um, and the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security is expected to issue a joint intelligence bulletin to law enforcement agencies across the country. That's right. Keep that fear high. You got it, American? You scared? Can you feel it in your belly? Are you scared? ISIS is going to come here and attack. You know what? It's our own government, our own military, it's Mossad, it's CIA. 
Uh, do I? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go into this again. You know, I just wish some of those Americans who are just refusing to see the obvious and just refusing to engage in adult conversation would suddenly miraculously grow up and recognize what is happening. So, yeah. But there, there, there's no specific threat. It, although there's not a specific, specific credible threat that Attorney General Eric Holder can point to, I certainly think that the environment has changed over the years. <laughs> we have a very small number of people without a huge amount of planning, without huge amounts of resources inflicting very severe damage. They've been training almost every single day all over the country. NSA surveilling everything up the wazoo to protect us. We have let go of our freedoms for protection, for security. Well, you know what they say. You give up your liberty for protection, and you ain't got either of them. You give up both. So, that's where we're at. We have less freedom and more threats, and, uh, <laughs> and, and a, a deliberately inept government still claiming that it's going to protect us while the threats are just getting bigger and the, you know, terrorist attacks around the West keep happening, and yes, it is coming here. We all know that. We all know that. Um, I'll link below to all of the articles. New, IS, uh, new ISIS threat. Tomorrow, New York will burn. The killing will be started. The killing will be start. Will be started. Meanwhile, Penn Station burns day after DC Metro catches fire. What? Um, a person declaring himself to be a member of ISIS has issued threats to New York on Twitter, proclaiming the killing will be started, while telling us he's walking with a bomb and nobody knows while declaring yesterday, mind you. Okay, well, I guess these people on Twitter don't really know English, but tomorrow New York will burn while invoking memories of 9-11 by warning of another such attack. Coincidentally or not, after also telling us Islam will control, New York's Penn Station suffered a mysterious three-alarm uh, three fire this morning, requiring 100 firefighters to respond only a day after a fatal fire broke out aboard a metro train in Washington, D.C. And meanwhile, Senator Dianne Feinstein warned of terrorist sleeper cells within the United States. But we have to ask, why are no terrorists being arrested? Okay? Why are these people just slipping through the cracks? Why? You know that there are sleeper cells. We've known this for years, that there are sleeper cells. In fact, I did a video on this on my old channel, and... Many of those sleeper cells were actually, it was documented that they knew where the locations were. Why aren't they being arrested? Because this is all staged, deliberate, to take over the United States, to bring in the New World Order. All those reasons. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let me just remind everybody that Obama, Obama, our Obama in 2009, actually released the leader of ISIS. You can read this article. Yes. He released the leader of ISIS. Okay? Remember, the United States military was dropping ammunition and guns to ISIS. Wow. It is remarkable how unbelievably obvious everything is, and yet we still have Americans going, good, 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 our, our government's going to protect us. Yes, Obama's, Obama's on it. He's going to protect us. He's going to protect us. Yeah, I'll give up all of my freedoms for protection. What do you got now? What do you got? You got a government that is on a daily basis trying to scare the shit out of you, <laughs> and you ain't got any freedom. Oh, my God. So much is going to be happening, guys. Hold on to your seats.